Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at Wise Media's sixth uh, EMEA summit in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by Etienne Grandor from Belgian Mobility Card. Etienne, thank you very much for talking to me. Um, you're presenting this afternoon on the subject of the mobility card. Tell me a little bit about the, the program you have running there. Well, these, you know, operators of public transport use to issue accessibility through smart ticketing mm -hmm. systems. But in the future, the use of public transport, it has been said uh, yesterday that the uh, increasing of city, uh, urban population is enormous. Mm. It will be enormous in the coming years. So that we need to have a larger facility to access the public transport. Therefore, we look to have to use of other widespread media mm -hmm. and we think first to the banks and secondly to the telecoms through the NFC telephones. Okay. Banks for the moment used to prove to be very wise and uh, very prudential say no it's all okay. card we, we, we don't share it and the telecoms on the other side said we have the solution for you. Okay. So and with public transport we say okay we, we exist and we have critical mass mm. of uh, cards. Just have an example. Uh, in the past, uh, the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation with uh, the Scottish Bank developed an, an e purse called Mondex. Mm. And this has been killed by the Octopus card, which is the public transport card in Hong Kong, because they had a mass, a critical mass. HSBC never yeah. never reached. Okay. So we, we we have reasons to say, okay, please respect us, mm -hmm. but we can make something together. My presentation uh, will only uh, pay attention to the uh, possibility of using other medias. But in the future, and that will be probably the program mm. uh, that I discuss with uh, Mrs. de la Gironde for uh, Rio Janeiro or, mm. or Frankfurt, is to say, if we switch or if we add to our uh, self-issued card uh, NFC telephones, right. we, it's, it's not uh, to, to translate that in, 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 in NFC telephone is not enough. Mm. T an NFC telephone is a, a computer, so you have intelligence, so you, have to, you, you, you need to use this mm. intelligence. i give you an example. In Paris, you have now the uh, shared uh, electrical cards of Mr. Bolloré, which is Autolib. Autolib is a car built around a battery, and around this car you have all a system to manage to reserve, mm -hmm. uh, to book your car, to book the destination yeah. uh, uh, facilities. So you can enter a world of management of your mobility more than only to, tra to, to, to transpose, to transact the contract that mm. uh, we put on smart card okay. for the moment. Okay. So that will be, that we yeah. hope will be the yeah. next conference. And we're seeing more and more urbanization, we're seeing more and more growth in cities, more and more mass transport requirement. Does that, and particularly in, in places like Rio de Janeiro yeah. with, the, um, with the Olympics and the, and the World Cup coming, does that present problems in those, I guess, less developed nations where there aren't as many smartphones? Do they need to have maybe a smartphone option but also a simple, a simple card option as well? Probably they will pass through the different steps that we mm. have known. Uh, well, you, you mentioned Rio Janeiro. Rio Janeiro is for me already an old city. Mm. Probably of not course. so old as London or Paris. No, uh, it's but it's an old city compared to here. Here you have enormous avenues, so the, the need for public transport will be delayed. Mm. However, in Dubai, I think they have uh, built the metro. Here, they, they're still speaking about to, to build a, a road, a long road tunnel. You see, they don't, they, they don't yet evaluate. But what's happened? It's 
in parallel with the densification of the cities, mm. which make the, the ownership of the car absolutely impossible. Mm. You have a trend in the young people to say, oh, I want mobility, but I'm not very keen to be owner of yeah. my mobility. Okay. And that's an, an enormous evolution. And you see, for instance, uh, Daimler-Benz, and you know perfectly well mm. that in the, the, the context of the crisis, the automobile industry in Germany is not too bad, absolutely, because they were top-level uh, models, and so they, they don't need, yeah. but they're already thinking to systems where intelligence of the use of yeah. non-owned cars yeah. Yeah. appears, yeah. even even them. Yeah. So that's, that uh, for me, it's the real uh, challenge. Ch challenge and uh, evolution for, yeah. for the future. Yeah. Less, less owning of the car. <coughs> and so, and yeah. in the same time, you use the public transport mm. for massive yeah, for uh, mass movements and, and, and for leisure or for yeah. shopping. You, you will have a car in front of your yeah. home, but it's not yours. It doesn't need to be yours. Yes, yeah. Well, that sounds attractive. Yeah. And we're certainly in for a, a, a big change in the way mass transportation happens. It's evolving fast, and technology is uh, enabling that. So exciting times ahead. Yeah. I look forward to your presentation this afternoon, Etienne. Thank you very much for talking Thanks, to sir. me, and it's thank you for your time. It's a pleasure for me.